Good morning. Let us all please stand. Let's take this moment as we turn towards one another to welcome each other to our celebration of today's Holy Mass. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate Thursday in the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. And our opening hymn for today's Mass is number 653, The Servant's Song. Will you let me be your servant? Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. We are pilgrims on a journey. We are travelers on the road. We are here to help each other walk the mile and bear the load. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us humbly call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You have shown us the way to the Father. Kyrie eleison. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. You are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, for it is written, God catches the wise in their own roses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no, so let no one boast about him being, so let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you, Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belongs to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs all the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and his fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. 
the Lord, the Lord belongs to the earth, the earth and, and all that fills it. it. Who can ascend the mountains of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord, the Lord belongs, belongs the, the earth, earth and, and all, all that fills it. it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the, the Lord, Lord belongs the earth, earth and, and all that fills it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and your lips and give us the famous gospel worthy and ground. Son, the Holy Spirit. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of um, Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had debarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to pull out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. <coughs> After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out in the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they had caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of the fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel reading shares a number of parallels with the way in which we celebrate uh, our Mass. I'd like to share with you just five quick parallels. The first we hear Simon saying in today's Gospel, Lord, depart from me, for I am a sinful man. At the beginning of every Mass, we say to the Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Kyrie eleison, depart from me. I am a sinful person, a sinful man, a woman. Second, we hear that the crowds pressed in on Jesus to listen to the Word of God. At every Mass, we press in together into the church as we listen to the Word of God. Third, we hear Jesus sat down on a boat out onto the lake and began to teach. At every Mass, the priest or the deacon stands at the ambo or out there at the boat, as it were, teaching, preaching. Fourth, we hear they gathered a great catch of fish, which would be their daily bread, what they would eat to sustain their lives. At every Mass, we have the living bread, our daily bread, the food of the Eucharist. And then fifth, Jesus sends them forth on mission, saying, You will now be fishers of men. Go. You have a mission. And at the end of every Mass, we're sent forth. The deacon dance says, Go forth. The Mass has ended. You have a mission. 
within this very gospel reading, we see five elements of how we celebrate our Mass. So as we reflect on these readings today, may the Lord give us the grace to humbly acknowledge our sins, as I said at the beginning, to listen to the Word of God, to be nourished by the preaching, to be fed by the bread of life, and then to go forth on mission. We now stand as we lift up our prayers and our needs before God. Our response, divine master, help us to launch into the deep. Divine, divine master, master help, help us to launch into the deep. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and all who have been called to be fishers of men may have the courage and perseverance to cast their nets into deep waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That fishermen and all those who work at sea may have a harvest of God's bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That we may have the courage to tell unbelievers the good news of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That the Lord may touch the lives of the sick, the sorrowing, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That those who have died in Christ may receive their eternal reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. The intentions of this Mass are offered for the eternal repose of Dave Alves and Joyce McCarthy. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, Master, help, help us, us to launch, launch into, into the, the deep. deep. We pray in thanksgiving for Sancho Jose Maria, Maria Santiago and for our sick, Hilda Sanchez, Daniel De Leon, Antonio Go Jr., Timothy and Tina Cortez, and Milton Tennant. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, Master, help, help us, us to, to launch, launch into, into the, the deep. deep. And for the eternal repose of Victor Cura, let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, Master, help, help us, us to, to launch into, into the, the deep. deep. We take a moment of silence as we bring to the Lord our own prayers and petitions, as well as the prayers of our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, Master, help, help us, us to launch into the deep. God, our Father, through the example of the sacred scriptures we just heard, give us the grace to humbly acknowledge our sins, to listen attentively to your word, to the words of preaching and teaching, to be nourished by the Eucharist, and then sent forth on mission. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt celi et terra, Gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, brother of the Father, the work of the Holy Spirit, who have left your blessed will, giving you this your most holy body and blood for all our sins. Keep me faithful to your command. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the communion antiphon. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. And we now pray in union with our brothers and sisters online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, O Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To St. Joseph, hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust, with you, Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. And to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 637, The Summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare? Should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you?